Lambda is one of the most widely used serverless services in AWS, which is used for compute purposes. So let's try to understand how the billing for Lambda is done. Basically, the billing for Lambda is done based on GB seconds. I will explain what it means. You know that when you configure a Lambda function, you have to specify how much memory you need. For example, let me go to one of my Lambda functions. And if you come down, go to configuration, you can see that we are specifying memory. By default, it is 128 MB. But if you want to increase it, you can increase that. So how much memory you are using for your function multiplied by the duration of the execution. For example, if you have configured 2 GB for your function and it is running for 10 seconds, then this is 2 into 10 equal to 20 GB seconds. So you will be charged for 20 GB seconds. And similarly, very quickly let us do if it is 4 GB for 10 seconds, then that is 4 into 10 equal to 40 GB seconds. Very simple, straightforward calculation. And please note that based on the memory you are asking for, right? If it is 2 GB or if it is 4 GB, based on that, the CPU cycles allocated to your Lambda function also increases. So basically, if you reserve 1.73 GB of memory for your function, you will get one vCPU equivalent of CPU cycles. And if you increase it like 4 GB or 8 GB, definitely your CPU allocation also increases. Now let's take a case of your Lambda function. You have reserved 4 GB and it is running for 10 seconds. And we know it is 4 into 10, 40 GB sex. Now if you increase this 4 GB into 8 GB, what will happen is you get more RAM to execute your code, plus you are getting more CPU cycles. So because of that, this 10 seconds duration may come down to, for example, 3 seconds. So as a result, 8 into 3, 24 GB seconds will be the billable metric this time. You can see that if you increase the memory allocation, it may reduce your function duration considerably so that finally, in effect, your overall cost will be less. So when you are designing your Lambda function, you can keep that in mind. Now, let's see, we are saying it is priced per GB second, but per one GB second, what is the price? It is interesting to know. So let me take you to the documentation regarding the pricing. And here, there are some categories, but let us take the first category for simple understanding. For first 6 billion GB seconds per month, okay, that is huge number, right? It is just this much, 0.00001 dollars per GB second. That means that for 60,000 GB seconds, the charge is only one dollar. And then it is charging for 1 million requests. There is an additional charge of 0.2 dollars. You can leave that aside. So per GB sec price, is equal to 0 0.00017 dollar okay which means that for 60000 gb sex your price is only 1 dollar and if you are using 1 gb memory for your function for 60000 seconds it is actually equivalent to 1 gb for 17 hours so for using the lambda for 17 hours you are being charged only 1 dollar and please also note that there is a free usage per month for every account. So that data is also given here. So if you look at this, it says the AWS Lambda free tier includes 1 million free requests per month. Okay, that is a huge number. And 400,000 GB seconds of compute time per month. Okay, that is huge. 400,000 GB seconds of free usage. So free usage equal to 400,000 GB sex. This is if you are using 1 GB memory. But by default, for normal smaller functions, you will only need 128 MB. That is the default value as well. You can see that here. So 128 MB means it is 1 eighth of GB, right? So which means that if you are having only 128 MB, then you will get 400,000 into 8 because you are going to use only 1 eighth of a GB. So if you are using 128 MB for your Lambda, then it implies that you can use 3.2 million seconds of free usage of Lambda. So this is equivalent to 880 hours or let me say almost 900 hours of free usage free usage of Lambda. That is a huge number. If you are running a small company or a startup, etc., your entire usage for the month will actually come under this free usage. I hope you understood how the billing for Lambda is done. I'll come back with more similar videos. You may consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Bye.